Hey guys, I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land. We have finished up with uh, Stove. What was it? Ca Stove Canyon. Uh, we're moving on to SS Teacup, which, judging by the whole ship and pirate motif, is probably going to be a very watery level. Uh, but that's fine. We've put a. Uh, Put the fiery depths of Stove Canyon behind us, and that's okay with me. Um, in between the last episode and this episode, I went back to course number six on Rice Beach to do a little bit of grinding for my coinage. Uh, I was there for about a half hour. You get about 90-something coins in the in the level. And then, no matter what, I bet it all, all three times. Um, because if you're just doing the same level over and over again, the, uh, the pros outweigh the cons. On average, I ended up getting about, you know, 180 coins per, per go through, and about three or four times, um, I was able to get like a, a nice chunk. Uh, and once I did end up getting the like a full like 700 coins or whatever, so um, it didn't take very long. So if you are finding you are nowhere near the amount you're going to need by the end of the game, go ahead and do that. Um, we're at, I think, yeah, I'm just about 5,000 coins right now. I still need 10,000 coins before the last area, so I'm not going to grind anymore until the last area where I'll determine how, how long I'll need to do so. But the levels just really don't give you a lot of coins. And I, I've asked some other people who play, oh wow, 5,000 exactly. I've asked a couple people, um, other people who have played this game, and they say that, yeah, it's very, um... You do need to grind for coinage to get the best ending because it, the chances of you actually getting the full 10,000 before the end of the game are just ridiculous. Um, I'm going back through this level because I know that I have missed a treasure. So I'm going to have to pay a little bit more attention. Just wondering if it has anything to do with this ledge up here. Nope, maybe not. We're definitely at the point of the game where I don't know as much. So, there's going to be a lot of wandering around. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Aha. Not too difficult. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention this last episode as well. That, um, no, I don't want that. That, oh jeez. Um, that secret exit we got in Stove Canyon was the fifth and final secret exit of the game, believe it or not. So, now, um, it's just treasures we're looking for. No, no secret exits or anything like that. But, uh, we still have quite a few secret exits, or sorry, uh, treasures to get. And this, uh, SS Teacup has three of them, I think. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see if there's anything down here first. All right. Hmm, okay, so I guess now we're in inside the ship already. It's kind of cool. Okay. I was going to change the colors um, the way I did with uh, Stove Canyon so that we could have something a little more, you know, something that made sense with the world, but uh, the Game Boy Color doesn't have all that many palettes to choose from, and I found nothing that really fit. So the default it is, I find this looks okay, considering what it is. I'll try to find some other areas um, that I can use some better, better uh, palettes. Maybe in the upcoming world, Parsley Woods. Maybe I'll make it nice and like a dark green or something. It's a shame though, because like the Super Game Boy, you can you can go out of your way and really uh, set all the uh, all the colors you want. But I don't know why. I just want to play this in Game Boy uh, Player instead of the game, uh, Super Game Boy. So we got like a dagger of some sort. Hooray! That's awesome. Almost there. We're, we only have six left to go. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and beat the level, and I'll meet you guys back outside on the world map. All right, let's continue on. Okay, clearly a water level here. I mean, there's no land whatsoever. Yeah, and there's that weird water music. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm not a huge fan. Oh, I can't crawl. 
I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the music in this game, other than like the main Wario-ish theme. There we go, that'll help. Uh, so there's no treasure in this level. So we can just continue on and be careful and just beat this level. Ah, I'm not a fan of water levels. I don't think anyone's a fan of water levels, to be honest. Damn it. I think Mega Man has some of the best water levels, simply because... Come on. Ugh, oh, dang it. Uh, simply because you don't swim in Mega Man. Mega Man just jumps super high, so it's just a lot of fun. Oh, the stupid walrus guys. Oh, oh, oh that was weird. It was like... I was Jet Warrior for like a second there. There we go. Oh, without the jet or fire, I can't break through that. Oh, who cares? I'm I'm kind of okay with not getting a lot of coins in regular levels because it takes me no time to get the coins from Course 6 anyways, so... Hey, if I get coins, I will. If I don't, I don't. And uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Haha, -ha, I love this idea. Well, I think it was last episode I said, oh, what's the point of Wario's ability to do that? And now I understand. That's actually really, really cool. Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um. No, nah, no. Nah. Just keep going. Yeah, I'll just get this just in case. Because it might be an underwater segment later, so. It'd be easier for me to be able to protect myself. Weird place to put the, the halfway point for the level, though. Hmm. Oh, that's a heart. Uh, I'm also in no, and, and not in any hurry to get any hearts, either. I'm already pretty... Pretty, uh... Dang. Pretty good with lives right now, having 26 of them. Which is pretty good. Um, just hearts everywhere. Oh dang it. That oh, well, screw it. Who cares? Oh, wait. I can just do this. There we go. Wow, this level's really made for the, uh... Really made for the... The... the f Dragon Warrior. This is annoying. There we go. Well, that was an absolutely worthless star. Well, I'm getting coins. That's good. Uh, and just because I don't really care if I lose coins through betting, I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can get a lot. Just for the fun of it. Alright. Um, uh, okay. Let's go. Aw, oh, damn it. Uh, go to the right again. Hey, hey, there we go. Alright, last try. Stick to the right. Yeah, okay. I know it doesn't actually matter, but it is fun to say, hey, look, look at all those coins I got in this level. 256, nice. There you go. The one thing I've noticed when you get, like, gigantic amounts of coins at the end of the level, it takes forever for them to count down. Because uh, I've beaten the level um, at Core 6 with, like, 700-something coins. And it's, like, three minutes of just waiting for that, uh... For, for um, that the coin number to fall and drop down to zero so you can keep going. It's hilarious how much it takes. There we go. Here's some actual fun music. So that's nice. And so far, a lot of, uh, a lot of SST Cup reminds me of Rice Beach. And I, I, again, I know there's no there's no treasures in this level. I don't know what that did. Oh, cool. There we go. So yeah, this this has no treasures, but there's uh, the next level and the level after that both have treasures. I'm pretty certain. A lot of coins up here though, so that's nice. And pretty much skipping the. Oh dang it, no. Oh, still coins. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. Oh, nice. There, yeah. Much better, much better. Wow, there's a lot of coins so far in this level. Wow, 
Wow, that was good. Oh, huh. Why put those blocks there? It makes it look like there'd be a door. Um, yeah, it's probably the midpoint, I bet. Yeah. Well, just in case. I I'm not having any troubles, but hey. You never know. Barrels and whatnot. Oh, ah. Uh. Yeah, so far a surprisingly easy level. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the currents are keeping me from. There we go. Oh, okay, I see. I want to keep my bunny, the, uh, my uh, bunny hat. Oh, weird. That's the end of the level? Okay. Well, hey, I get to keep the coins. That's pretty cool. I don't have to waste them getting the uh, the, the goal uh, door open, so that's nice. Alright, now we're finally on the ship, I think. Uh, yeah, there we go. This is teacup going pretty smoothly so far. So I know there's a treasure in this level, so I'll we'll have to take a look around for it. We're finally on the ship. That's good. Oh damn it. Uh crap. Oh well. These guys can't even kill me anyways. So door here, but I can't get in it. Must have to like open a switch or something later on. Uh I'll go up here. I hate how slow Wario is. Okay, so there's the uh there's the treasure. I just need to find the key. I must admit, it's pretty ballsy of Wario to go on a pirate ship to steal their pirate treasure. I mean, that's... That takes guts. There we go, that's nice. Or maybe he's just not smart. Wario doesn't seem like the smartest guy. I mean, look at those eyes. Yeah. I think it's just Wario's not very smart. Then again, he did, like, create his own company in the WarioWare games. And it's pretty much... I think he's, like, super rich now, like, in the Mario canon. If there is such a thing as the Mario canon. So I guess he's not that stupid. Crap. Oh, what? That's bullshit. It's a cool-looking area, though. Oh, dang it. Can I even hit those? Oh, okay, good. Wow. Wario can jump high. So far, it's kind of a weird level. A lot of little side rooms for no real reason. Oh, well, whatever. I just want to find that, uh, that key. Oh, damn it. Okay, so that leads me back to the main kind of area. Damn it. Oh, well, if I get the key, when I get the key, it'll be a shortcut, so that's good. Okay, so that was the first one, and then it was this one that I shouldn't go into. That was close. Where the hell's the key? Okay, so that's the midpoint. Alright. There we go. Very maze like. Well, at least I'm getting coins and stuff. Ah, screw it. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going or anything like that. Come on. There we go. Finally. Oh, I see. Alright. Super careful. There we go. Nice. 
Not a trek all the way back. Well, at least that shortcut's there. That's good. Oh, whoops. Wrong one. Dang it, dang it. Warrior is so damn slow. But he can balance a key on his head. That's pretty cool. Like when he goes down ladders. Look at that. That's pretty good. Uh, I think it was this one, yeah? Yeah, perfect. Okay. All that worked just for a stupid treasure. So what do we have? What do we have? Oh, it's an axe. I thought it was a gun at first. I was like, what the hell's a gun doing in this? But no, it's like a, a hatchet of some sort. Okay. A crystal hatchet you can like see through. That's kind of cool. Five more. Five more, guys. There's one more in SST Cup. And then we only got Parsley Woods, I think it's called. And then, uh... Whatever the last world is called. Syrup something. So we're getting there. We're getting near there. First, I have to trek all the way back. And just for fun, I'm going to make you guys sit through it. No fast forwarding this time. I figure why not? I mean, it's not its not like it's very far. Pretty much almost there already. Not a hard level though, I mean, actually quite the opposite. I know I got hit by that stupid duck thing, but the level is quite simple. Um, okay, here we are. Was it this one? No, okay, whoops. It's so weird. It's like it's like it's the pirate ship, and then the doors lead to like a cave. I don't know. How does that make any sense? Yeah, that was that was a super easy level. Nineteen coins. Ugh. Oh, whatever. So yeah, hey, we got ten uh, ten of the treasures. Five left to go. We're still way uh, way too far away from our our goal of ten thousand. But hey, we're at the last level of SST Cup, and that's about it for today. Uh, I'm from the Blanks. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Wario Land. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Check out my other content on my YouTube channel, where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games. See ya.